Hey y'all, welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille. I will be doing daily tarot for all signs, and that is every sign in the zodiac for August 13th, 2024. Keep in mind, y'all, timing is fluid. So if it does resonate with you for the 13th, it could still in the future. Y'all know I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason. So if you're watching this, you may need to hear something from it, okay? So just take what resonates, leave the rest, because you know it's intuitive, and it's really just something that we can use as a tool. Help us grow as a person. We're going to start with the Work Your Life Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit God. And this set a soon moon. What do we need to hear? August 13th, 2024. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Break the chain. That's right. It's time to break the chain, y'all. You are not bound. There is fate is not there. It's not inevitable because you always have a choice. Thank you, Spirit, for that message. This is the Angel Answers Oracle Tech. And A, hey, we got a spiritual answer immediately. Huh? Reconsider. No. Compromise. Compromise. All right. It's time to compromise. You gotta compromise with yourself. You gotta compromise with somebody else. Thank you, Spirit. Guys, I think I know this was talking to me about. What else do we need to hear? It's the Ancestor Spirit Oracle Day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit, guys. What else do we need to hear? August the 12th, 2024. Go with the flow. Let go, rest, and manifest. Go with the flow. That's right. Go with the flow. And we've got the Spirit of Nature Oracle deck. What green minutes do you want to add to this reading? Thank you, Spirit. I'm so thankful we even have a tool to give us some guidance, y'all. I'm so thankful. Honeysuckle, honeysuckle. Yes. Got the Affirmator's Tarot deck. What else do you want to add to it? What else are we adding for August 13th, 2024? What we got? Temperance. Oh, we got two. We got two jumpers. We got Temperance. And then we got the Page of Swords. It's, start, it's time to start writing, baby. Using that mind. One more shuffle, then we going to pull some cards. Well, one card. <laughs> All right. And the last card is the Eight of Swords. Wow, we got that for today, too. You feel trapped. We got that for the 12th as well. It's okay. You can get out that trap. You're not stuck. And we got Break the Chain. All right, that's an action card. Meaning it's time to take action, baby. And break that chain. It's page 60, which is a six. Better things once you break that chain. You are being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors. This could mean letting go of an old pattern of your mater maternal or paternal line. Healing trauma from the past that is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you. We carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations back. This is why family patterns can be the hardest to break. Often they are not even ours to begin with, but we do not know another way of being and so we continue to play out the drama. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up it is that you cannot heal another person, but your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. Energy is freed up. You are being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want it to be. What ways of being or patterns are you ready to free yourself from? What part of your future do you want to rewrite? Now is the time to shake them off and dream a new future into being. What old ways of being from your family line are you ready to let go? Seek assistance from your support team, your tribe, your friends, a healer, a coach to begin freeing yourself from it now. Okay. 
Because you got to compromise with yourself and let yourself know you are the only one that can break the chain. In order to create a happy outcome for the situation, you will find it necessary to compromise. Although yourself, allow yourself some time to become clear about what is truly important to you. Also take note of matters where you would be open to changing your position. Work toward an agreement where everyone wins. Be open to a cooperation that would allow you to get what you need while also assisting others in fulfilling their desires. Be objective about finding a balance between respecting everyone else's viewpoints and still being true to your own. All right, and then we've got go with the flow, baby. Indigenous Fijians refer to themselves as Kai Vita. Vita means the islands and Kai meaning people. Kai Vita villages are close-knit communities that have many rituals regarding gifting, a way of welcoming, honoring, celebrating, and acknowledging relationships. The process of giving and receiving reflects the ebb and flow of nature. Gift-giving cultures tend to be ones of feasting and ceremony. Fiji is no exception. Yakana, which is kava, is a ceremonial drink made from roots of a pepper plant. It holds a significant place in the Fijian culture, and it is considered an insult to refuse an offer of yakana. Traditionally, yakana ceremony may welcome a guest or mark a special occasion. Fijians also share yakana more informally at gatherings, for storytelling sessions, or when chilling out and relaxing. The Fijians call this island time. When there is no need to rush or worry about things that might not happen. Sharing your quana with friends and family strengthens bonds and identity. The ancestors speak. Relax. Let go and go with the flow. You don't need to control the situation, know everything that is going to happen, or plan everything in advance. Time out is just as important as time doing. So don't feel guilty about gifting yourself some relaxation. When you go with the flow, you can manifest more quickly and easily. The divinatory meaning. When you try to force a situation, it can block the natural flow. Take time out to relax and gather your thoughts. Once you have loosened up, release any fear or self-doubt. Trust in the universe and see where it directs you. To help you relax and go with the flow, imagine healing white light flowing through every part of your body, just as water flows in a river. When you are ready, affirm that the universe is taking care of everything. Take a deep breath and relax. And then we got honeysuckle. Oh, no, I might have got it before, but don't get that one much. Page 99. The green man's wisdom is here. Wisdom hides in secret places. Yes. The ancients often saw wisdom as hidden or secret, accessible only by the initiate rather than the ordinary man or woman. This notion came from a desire to preserve the power of the mysteries, the point of divine interaction with the everyday world. Their true nature, nature was known to all, but the practices and rituals flowing out the teachings of the gods were kept hidden. For to make them available to all would have diluted their powers. The re revelation of these through the initiation experience shone a light into the darkness of the soul and illuminated the innermost longings of humankind. Wisdom can be just as hard to find today, but it is all there the same. Honeysuckle in a reading suggests that a wealth of meaning lies hidden, ready to be uncovered and explored. And then we got temperance. And that is number 14. Major Arcana. The feeling of this card can be likened to the elusive flow state, where great strides are achieved rather than joy with excuse me, while where great strides are achieved with joy. Rather than sweat, events unfold harmoniously and inspiration pops by unexpectedly with a box full of expensive looking cupcakes. The key is to remain balanced and yep, tempered. So you can channel all this next level energy and put it into practice. Temperance frowns on extremes. So indulge those moderation vibes and enjoy the hopefully more than moderate success that ensues. Here's the affirmation. I am in tune with the high vibration and I easily remain up here. Vibrations are super chill to hang out with when they're high. And then we got Page of Swords. That's right. It's time to start writing. That's Air Energy, Aries, Libra, and Aquarius. The Page of Swords ushers in a new challenge. 
focused on words and ideas. Interpreted literally, this can mean you've just started writing a novel or perhaps accepted a job as an etymology professor. But more often than not, it simply means you're facing a big task and you're about to wet your pants with either fear or excitement. Harness this anxious energy and use it. Sure, your brain is abuzz with an unruly swarm of thoughts, but the right but the right shaped funnel can pour them into your work in a constructive way. Craft your ideas with care and discipline and you'll have nothing to fear except those pee pee pants. Here's the affirmation. I fear nothing. I conquer everything. I won't stop for anything. And then we've got the eight of swords, which you feel trapped. And it's okay because you have to go with the flow. Stop trying to force things. That's why you feel trapped. Come on, spirit. Feel like you're trapped in a hall of mirrors, overwhelmed, confused, paralyzed with indecision and a loop of overlapping inner monologues what a monday it might feel like you're stuck in the mud and have no options but that isn't the case there are escape routes that you must have that you just might have to change your point of view to see them or perhaps more accurately you might have to buck up and accept them give your screaming brain a pacifier proceed one step at a time and take your power back rather than go on playing a victim being a powerful being powerful is much more fun. Plus, it comes with way better overlapping inner monologues. Here's the affirmation. I liberate my thoughts from the limiting box and entertain even radical sounding ideas. I have nothing to lose except that box, but it wasn't doing me any favors anyway. Let's just get into this reading. This reading is all about going with the flow. Like literally every card, even right here, uh, honeysuckle, wisdom. Wisdom, when you gain wisdom and knowledge, you learn to compromise with yourself, with your inner self. So many times we will, like, like let's see with the break the chain, stay in the same cycle, stay in the same cycle, knowing we have the ability to get out of that cycle. But sometimes we try to force it. We're wanting to make it fit. And if you realize that once you go with the flow, you will be able to go through whatever obstacles you see yourself facing okay that's what we get with temperance it's time to stay tempered in that flow state and know that whatever you need will come to you use what the honeysuckle said and go with the flow said you know go and just tell the universe take a deep breath and just feel it and let the universe know that yes i know you got my back and I know you will handle everything and you will be able to see clearly once you really, truly release it. So you are unable to hold on to it and feel like you can still do the same thing and get a different result. You will have to make sure you just go with the flow and you'll see your bust wide open through any scene, any door, anything trying to hold you back. All right. Thank you so much for coming to Lions and Tarot. Y'all better make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. It's Lions underscore 10 underscore Tarot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Hit that bell, hit that bell. If you would like a personal reading, the information is in the comments below. You guys got this. Just go with the flow. It's time. We're water. Be one with water. And you be one with the universe.